Okay, I ran across this in the lab today. Um, forgot I even had it. Um, it's a distribution amplifier. It's for uh, video use. So not a lot of people are, are distributing analog video any longer. So you can pick these up uh, free if, <laughs> if nothing else. Um, they, are, they are super cheap. Now, so what, what are you going to do with this thing? Um, it has... Um, it has an input and then it has four outputs. So you bring in one video signal here and you can send it out to, to, uh, to four, four signals here. I think these are good uh, up to around 10 megahertz and then they, they fall off. So I think this would be a good time to uh, show you maybe measuring a, an amplifier and, and seeing what it can do. And so why would you be interested in such a thing? You know, why do you want to send out one signal and distribute it to four things? Well, you could put your function generator in here and have it go out to four things. Um, the reason that I purchased one previously was for a um, rubidium standard. So I had a, a 10 megahertz rubidium standard and I wanted to distribute that 10 megahertz to various um, instruments. So various counters or spectrum analyzer, what other things that can use 10 megahertz or, or just output it for, for test uses and stuff. Uh, if you have one rubidium standard, then you can have four outputs and you can send it to four different places. Now, a lot of people will say, oh, well, you can't use that because it's, um, uh, does it say on here? Uh, it doesn't even say on here, but it's 75 ohms. You go, well, it's 75 ohms and everything. I've got 50 ohms, so you can't use uh, something like this. So let's go ahead and uh, open it up. We'll take a look inside, and then uh, we'll see if 75 ohms is going to get you in trouble or not. Um, okay. Okay, got screws out. Uh, let's take a look inside. Uh, or, or what, I don't want to place this over there. Okay. Oh, interesting. Uh, so let's, uh, let's zoom in here. So we have uh, a little cute little power supply. A little transformer comes over here to a uh, strip. Everything's soldered in. And oh, it comes to a connector here, so it goes to here first, and then it goes to the connector. And there's a fuse in the back. Uh, there's a switch up in the front, and then this little board. So uh, this is the input. So the input comes in here somewhere, and then it's got output. So one, two, three, four. You can see there's four sections that look kind of the same. There's two transistors and a capacitor. So one, two, three, four, and then there's a little thing over here. It looks like the power supply. There's a diode and a filter capacitor and a big resistor. Um, yeah. So, and that's, that's uh, basically it. So there's not really not much going on here. Um, all right. Let me see, uh, get a better camera angle here. All right, in case you're interested, this is what it looks like. Okay, so let's uh, put the top back on and we'll, uh, we'll use it for its intended purpose. We'll uh, put in some signals and see what kind of image, uh, image quality, what type of uh, waveform quality we get out on the, on the output. Okay, I've got the uh, amplifier hooked up. Uh, the uh, signal's coming from the uh, function generator and output's going to an oscilloscope. And so we just have uh, input output uh, here and we look up at the oscilloscope and um, let's zoom in a little bit first. Let me move the camera. All right, you can see we're kind of off the top here. And if I come down, there's the signal. It's got this big DC offset. And I thought, hmm, well, that's weird. And then I remembered, well, it's a video amplifier. It's expecting it to drive a load, and the oscilloscope is high impedance. So I'm going to put a, uh, a 50 ohm load on the uh, on the output, and uh, we'll see what happens. And yeah, there we go. So that looks pretty good. 
And so is there any difference between 50 ohms and 75 ohms? Well, it's expecting to drive 75 ohms, but it's driving 50 ohms. It's going to be a little bit lower, um, but not much. And you can see it's outputting a very, very nice sine wave. So um, we could uh, try to measure total harmonic distortion and all that stuff, but uh, it looks it looks great. So let me uh, let me up the frequency. We're at one kilohertz right now. Uh, so let's go to uh, uh, there's ten kilohertz. Looking very nice. And let me change the here we go. Uh, here's a hundred kilohertz. Looking pretty good. Uh, and then let's go to megahertz. And it's looking pretty good. And let's go up. And maybe there's some distortion now, but not much. That's 15 megahertz. That's as far as my function generator will go. So let's back it down to 10 megahertz, which I think these things are specified at. So yeah, there's not much difference between 10 and 15. So this thing works just fine, basically up to 15. So uh, like I said, I was going to use it for a distribution amp for rubidium. So uh, that's going to be outputting a square wave or sine wave. So it's outputting a sine wave now. Let's output a square wave. Ah, the output square wave is not looking great. So these amplifiers are looking for yeah, there we go. So it's outputting a square wave. That little bit of ringing might be due to the 75 to 50 ohm mismatch, um, but it's it's acceptable. It looks fine. A lot of things would trigger on that just fine. So that's a megahertz. Uh, that's five megahertz. And six megahertz, seven megahertz, eight megahertz, 10 megahertz, there's 10. So basically, I'd call that a square wave at 5 megahertz. And at 10 megahertz, it's basically rounding things off, but still, still working. Oops. So let's, that's a megahertz. So, I mean, it's acting really, really nicely at a megahertz. Um, so amplitude wise, I'm inputting uh, f let's see, what am I inputting? Uh, 400, let's make it easier, 500, 500 millivolts peak to peak. And what are we outputting here? Uh, we are at one volt. Let's see, channel one, uh, 10 1x probe. And now we're at one millivolt. So uh, let's see, 500 peak to peak. So now we are at one, two and a half. So five, 500 millivolts peak to peak. So it's a one-to-one -one amplifier. And I think it's doing a really good job.